Welcome to Double Cloud. In this end-to-end -end quick start video, you'll understand how to configure the main parts of our service and connect them. We'll start by creating your data warehouse based on ClickHouse. Then we'll configure data ingesting and build charming analytical dashboards. Let's get right to it. Let's create a ClickHouse cluster first. Click Create Cluster. Keep the ClickHouse service selected. Change the region to North America, Ohio. Select the first resource preset. Select two replicas for improved reliability and performance and two shards for capacity. Give a name to your ClickHouse cluster. Let's leave the version as is and click Submit. Now you can see that your cluster is creating. Now we need to install the ClickHouse client on the system. As you can see, your cluster is already alive. This is the information page of your cluster. Look for the native interface string. Click Copy. Paste the connection string into the terminal and press Enter. Let's create a new database. Let's call it sample-clickhouse-db. Now let's list all the databases on the cluster. And now your data warehouse is ready to go. Open the Endpoints tab. Click Create Endpoint Source. Our test file is stored at Amazon, so let's select S3 as source type. Let's name our endpoint S3 Source Quick Start. Now let's work on setting. Unfold CSV and provide the CSV settings. Now set up the S3 services. The rest of it will do just fine. Let's click Submit. Click Create Endpoint Target. We want the data to be sent to our cluster, so select ClickHouse as the target type. Let's name it ClickHouse-Target-QuickStart. Let's get the cluster ID. Go back to the Cluster Info page. Find the cluster ID and click Copy. Now let's paste it here. Our user and password are from the info page, and our database is called sample-clickhouse-db. The rest of the settings are good as they are. Let's click Submit. Our target endpoint is ready. Let's go to the Transfers tab and click Create Transfer. Under Endpoints, select your source and target endpoint. Let's name our transfer, transfer-quickstart. All the other settings are good by default. Click Submit. Open the context menu and click Activate. When it's finished, the status will change to Done. Go to Visualization. Click Create Workbook. Let's call it Booking Demo Workbook. Click Create. Let's fetch the data from your database into our workbook. Create a connection. Our cluster is ClickHouse. Let's call it Sample ClickHouse DB. Let's get the name of the host from our cluster. Open the Hosts tab. Copy the name of the first host on the list. Let's paste that into the host field. HTTP interface port is 8443. Username is admin. Password comes from the cluster info page. Let's check our connection. Nice, it's all good. Click Create. We need a data set to organize and prepare the data for visualization. Click Create Data Set. Look, there's our table in the table section. Drag it to the work area of the data set. As you can see, the preview of the fields appeared below. Let's name our data set and click Create. Now it's time to start visualizing. Let's create a dashboard on which to place our charts and diagrams. Click Create Dashboard. Let's call it Booking Dashboard. Click Create. Let's create a chart. Click Add Chart. 
Select the stacked area chart type from the list of types and select our dataset from the list of datasets. Let's use booking start date field as our timeline. And let's use booking price as our parameter. Now let's repaint the chart to make it look prettier. Here you go. Click save. Let's name it booking price and we're done. Let's customize the chart appearance. It's a timeline, so let's make it wider. When you have finished, click Save. Let's create a demo of what you can do with DoubleCloud. Click Add Demo Workbook. Call it DoubleCloud Demo. Click Done. And here you are. There's some pretty cool stuff in there. This concludes our Quick Start tutorial. Keep exploring.